Looking good. Yvonne, where were you watching the draft and what was uh what was the excitement level like when you got the call? Uh when I got the call, it was just unbelievable and it was just thank thankful and thank God that they gave they gave me a chance. And now I'm ready and it's just it, I really have no words. Did you know Titans were were heavily interested, and were you thinking that maybe they'd be the team that give you a call at this stage? Uh, yes, sir. I met with them a few times, and when I went down there to Tennessee, it was great. The vibes was great. Uh, loved the facility, and the people around there was just great. And everybody just kept it real, and I just can't wait to get up there and go to work. When you came here right after the incident that you had, like, what, what was that experience like? You know, just defending yourself and just kind of clearing your name with, with Rand and the crew here. Right. Um, that's some legal issues, and I will not be talking about it. I won't be discussing about that. But as far as just your interaction with them and how open they were to what it was you had to say, maybe not specifically what you said, but how they received it. Um, It's life. <laughs> it's life and they believe in me and I'm just ready to rock and roll to go to Tennessee what, was what about when they came down to visit you uh, after the incident and they came down spent time with you and your family kind of on a fact finding mission How, what did you take from that when they made that special trip uh, I felt great about it when they came down to Houston to meet me and my mom it was great and I knew they believed in me and they seen something out of me and when they told me they was coming I was excited and just to get to let them know and show them like who I'm truly am and like who I who am I. You know? how, excited, how excited are you to be reunited with, with your former Texas teammate? I'll be Coburn. I can't wait to be down there and play next to him. That's going to be awesome to play next to him and Jeff. Ooh, woo. I feel sorry for the league. Did, did, did Jeff already uh, reach out to you? Ran uh, his number. No, nah, not yet. I'll probably talk to him in a little bit. What do you know about Jeff? A dog. I don't know much about him. I just know he's a dog, one of the highest paid defensive tackles in the game. How how would you want people to describe you as a player and what you bring to, a, to the team? Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to bring everything to the team. I'm going to bring – it, give it my all, you know, but me personally, I really don't care about other people's opinions. I'm just going to put my head down and work and keep going. What are you weighing these days? Sir? What are you weighing these days? Uh, 366. Is that a weight you feel comfortable playing at, or do you feel like you need to go up or down? Uh, I'm going to go down more. I mean, I can play good at 366. Uh, my coach always told me, Coach Bo, uh, this past season, he was like, yeah, you played great, but you could have played better if you were 355 to 350. So I'm just going to try to chop it down day by day, get to that. And, I mean, if I go to 355, 350, I'll probably, most likely I'm going to be a Hall of Famer. What did the Titans tell you about uh, where they'd like you to be? Around there. So we're going to get that. We're going to do that. How, how much the chain weigh in? Did you get that made for today? No, nah, I've been had it made uh, this this past season, it's a lot. It hurt my neck. As you see, my neck is like this. <laughs> <laughs> and where'd you get that custom-made shirt? Uh, my brother actually made it. For the, my for brother today? made it. Where are you watching the draft today? What was the celebration like when you got called there? Uh, I'm in Houston and because uh, my mom's from here and – it was just unbelievable when uh, they called me and told me uh, they was picking me. So it was, it was amazing. I just can't wait to get to Tennessee and go to work. You're a, pop, you're a Papa Cetus guy or Papa Do's? Papa Do's. What do you get? Uh, I like Calamari. But I got drop. I'll be dropping weight, so I won't be. I ain't gonna be eating no Calamari no time soon. <laughs> what do you remember is the plan against um, Alabama? that year, as well as J.C. Latham, who now is going to be your teammate. Wait, say, say that one more time? What are your memories against playing at, playing against Bama at Brian Denny this year, but specifically playing against J.C. Latham, who is now going to be your teammate? 
Yeah, that's that's gonna be crazy. I mean, we I mean, this is how the locker room talk. Uh we gonna you know how the locker room is. We're gonna talk noise and stuff like that. So but it's gonna be all love, you know. You know, when you got two teams, two, you know, the guys to top it up, be like, oh man, you know how that goes in the locker room. It'd be fun though. I can't wait to get to know him as a person and talk to bro. Did you remember playing against him at all? Uh no, I'm mean, inside. He's more of a tackle. Okay. I believe, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, he's more of a tackle. Yeah, yeah. Kayla, you can go ahead. Hey man, welcome to Nashville. Um, talk to me about Ah, Nashville, here I come. <laughs> Talk to me about your mama. I know she's been so integral in in your growth as as a man, as as a you know even a player, like getting you into basketball at a young age. Just how big is she in your life? And your honestly, the short answer to that is without that woman, I wouldn't be here. Without her putting her foot on my neck, I wouldn't be here. I give all praise to her and God. So that's really what I can say about that. Tavondre, we're good here. Thank you so much. We're going to have Dwight call you on the phone with a couple more questions, but thanks for taking the time. Hey, no problem. Hey, I got one thing to say, though. What's that going to be? Everybody recording? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got you. Hey, Nashville. T Sweat coming home. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you. Congrats.